Hi, and welcome to Blossom Your Creativity. My name is Debbie, and I'm happy to have you join me today. On this channel, we do lots of DIYs, tablescapes for two, make faux foods, and decorating my home, home decor. And we join in on challenges. And from time to time, my mom, Grandma Sandy, jumps in and we have lots of fun. So come along as I learn to blossom my creativity and I hope that I inspire you to blossom yours. If you like what I do, please subscribe. I'd love to have you part of my family. And if you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. This tells YouTube you like our content and hopefully this will help us grow. Thank you so much. Today I'm participating in an open collaboration and I will talk more about that in later in the video. Well, in today's video, I am showing you some other chinosery items that I have. Um, this is another one of my prints um, that I purchased online and I uh, put it in this frame. Um, I'm sorry there's a glare, but um, there's a lot of different lights in here. I'm trying to um, change it up so you could see the picture, um, but I just absolutely love this one. And so now let's go down to see my um, little, I don't know what you call this, an, an alcove, a cubby. It's in my dining room and I have it um, fixed up for a chinosery reveal. <laughs> so here is my um, really beautiful bowl. I just absolutely love this. And if you um, did not see my other video, I would highly recommend that you go and see it. It's a full tablescape. Um, today I'm just doing a little vignette here, um, but this bowl is absolutely beautiful. So now this little um, teapot um, is super cute. This is um, something I got in a um, teapot haul that um, I um, have a video up. Um, I did about, I don't know, three, maybe four or five months ago. But anyways, it's so cute. Um, the little lid comes off. Um, initially, when I got it, part of the tea collection, I wasn't sure how I was going to use it. Um, but then, uh, you know, Glamour Ellen um, invited um, a lot of creators to do the chinosery and I was like, hey, I have something. And I actually had um, this little teapot and this bowl um, prior to um, doing that challenge. So I'm going to have a link to the chinosery tablescape and uh, my teapot haul just so if you've missed that um, you can go back and see that but I absolutely love it it's super cute so tiny but perfect for a little area like this um, I'm trying to find little cups to go with it so I can display it together um, so on either side of my bowl and I wanted to show you real quick on the bowl I'll move that Ooh. <laughs> That was uh, scary. <laughs> um, look at the outside of it. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And I actually um, have, have had this for years and I did not know. Um, I didn't know that it was a chinosery. Maybe it's not chinosery, um, but it's I'm using it as a chinosery piece because it's absolutely beautiful and the blue and white is gorgeous. So let's see if I could put this back without um, dropping it again. All right, so there we go. All right, and then on either side of my um, bowl is my silver candle holders. And I just love those. They go so well. And I've used them in different um, videos where I've inverted them to use them as risers. So, you know, think about that. Um, 
you know, uh, with your items, don't, don't necessarily have to use them as um, what they were initially intended for. And so I just have my little candles. Oops, forgot to turn them on. Anyways, and so then I just put some little um, flowers in the back. And they're not a true white, but they have like a little bit of a tint of yellow. So, you know, because this is chinosery with a touch of yellow, I try to find some little um, yellows to add to this display. Now, coming over to this piece, this is a very unique, um, I guess not unique, but it's different. It's more of a square look and um, it's so pretty. And this one is not actually mine. This is my mother's, um, but she left it here at my house um, after doing a display or a collaboration together. And I said, hey, <laughs> let me go use it since she left it here. Um, but look at that. I just love that. That's kind of like that. I don't know. Is it like a pomegranate look or is it a, a flower? I'm not sure, but I really love it. All right. So I turned the light on so you can get a better look at it. It's a little dark over here, but isn't that beautiful? And then I have this, um, beautiful floral piece that just drapes down. And so I thought that would be nice in that area. And um, then here are some touches of yellow here. And I thought that would be perfect. And she actually had done this um, for a um, charcuterie board challenge that we did. And I just pulled some of the flowers out so that it wouldn't be um, so full um, because I needed it to fit in this little corner. So that's that part. And then let me go on this side. And here is the ginger jar, um, a little ginger, I don't know if it's ginger jar or, I, I'm not sure. But look at this, the lotus flower. I really love the, the design on this one too. And then I just added um, a little fern piece and some yellow roses. Because again, we're trying to use a little touch of yellow. And then I had these on my table also. Um, and this is just a, a wood um, heart that I um, decoupaged. Uh, it wasn't a napkin, it was a paper um, bag. And I um, put it on this heart, so I, I thought it was pretty. And then I got that little um, charm piece from da Dazzle It Up. So there you go. How you guys like this setup? Now let me move over because I have a lot of problems with having this table in my way. Isn't that cute? I like it. So you know me, I always have different options for you. So let's see the other option I can choose for this um, setting. I have two, two displays to show you today, but I'm just gonna change something up. I don't know if you'll like it, but you know, I always like to uh, change things to uh, make it look different. All right, so here is the change. And I, I don't know, I like this too. <laughs> it's hard to decide what I like and what I don't like, um, but that's why I post them here. And then you guys tell me what you think looks best and then I can um, use that in my ongoing decor. So um, I changed the bowl, I've laid it down, I've added a new picture, and I changed the ginger jar, a little jar, I don't know if you call that a ginger jar, um, and added a little bird on top. So let's get a closer look to see how it turned out. All right, so what I did is I just turned the light off so you can see this picture. Um, because there's so much glare, um, I've got windows, doors open, uh, so it makes it really difficult. But um, I have this, this picture came from my kitchen, um, so I usually have it hanging um, in there. And I didn't realize that the, the bowl was so similar. Um, so I thought, oh, that'd be cute to bring in um, to this little vignette. So let me go ahead and turn the light off. I mean, turn the light back on and then give you an overall view of um, the entire vignette. All right, so now that the um, light's back on, you can see a little bit better. 
Um, so again, you know that picture, it's, it's a little small, but it, it does work. I really like it. And um, I don't know, I just, I thought the bowl was, um, you know, it looked, it looked cute and it looked like it was um, similar. Um, so coming down here, as you can see, I have now changed the bowl so it's now um, laying flat. You still do get glimpses of the inside, which I absolutely love the, the design on the inside. Um, so then what I did was I just put a candle holder. I inverted it so that my little pot could sit on top. And I just added a couple of these white roses in the bowl. So cute. Here's the outside of the bowl design. And then I added um, a fan in the background. So that's um, this little area that I changed up. And then I added my little bird cage on top that also has the same um, white roses. And you see, I just inverted the lid just so that I can um, place my bird cage on top. So what do you guys think? That's so cute. <laughs> All right. So that is option number two. Oh, my camera was focused in too much. So here you go. You could see a better look. So um, again, this is option number two, and I will give you one more option because, you know, there's always these different options here. So I hope you guys are liking how I'm putting this together. That blue and white um, is just, it's so pretty. It goes with just about every, every flower color you can think of. So, Let's go to the next one. Before we do that, I'd like to take this opportunity to talk a little bit more about the challenge. It is Chinosery Blue and White with touches of yellow. And our gracious host is Marlene's How To's. Co-host is Deborah Cabasa's Home Living. Penny Lifestyle Living and Anna from the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. These group of ladies are fantastic and they do awesome DIYs, home decor, tablescapes. So make sure you go and check their page and see what they did. I have added the link in my description box. And now here is the third look. I've just changed um, the centerpiece and I added this um, ginger jar and I kind of like that too. I don't know what you guys think. So let me get a little closer to the ginger jar. I'm not getting very close. <laughs> that one is so pretty. But I felt that it would be um, too tall if I was to add flowers um, to this one because it's already pretty tall and I didn't want it to, um, you know, be too off balance. I know it's a little off balance now because the flowers um, in this, this one right here um, is slightly taller than the top of that ginger jar. But still, um, it's, it's more balanced than it would be if I was to put flowers in it. So let me know what option you like. I'm kind of stuck at an angle here and I can't really get, you know, centered. I've got this other table in my way because this is, um, this little niche is on the side of my table. Um, but I really like... Um, how it turned out and unfortunately there's a glare in my picture so it's um, di difficult to see as well um, oh I forgot to mention I added these little little cups and I plan on putting little snacks in them so um, if somebody comes by and they want to pick up a little snack they can they're so pretty look at that <laughs> 
So there is the option number two. So let me try to back up again. I keep bumping into this table. And that's the overall view of the second view. And I think I like I think I like this one better only because I um, really like to incorporate um, the ginger jars, um, the little one and the big one together. But I do love my bowl, so you guys tell me which one you like best.